This will be the most important topic to you all. We are going to learn about our universe, the earth. After sunset, observe the sky from the top of a house. As soon as it is dark, bright twinkling stars appear like holes in a dark umbrella. There is moon also, some days round and on some days semicircular. In the morning, you will see the sun rising in the east, climbing the sky and setting in the west. The earth, the ground on which you stand, the fields and all the places around appear flat. But people have found that all these places lying side by side form the surface of a huge ball called earth. We live on earth. The earth is round. Many people travel into space in recent times. They left the earth in spaceships and traveled thousands of kilometers away from earth. They took photographs of the earth from space. The photographs showed that earth is round. Spacemen also traveled around the earth. They could go round the earth only because the earth is like a ball. Maglin In olden days, people used to think that the earth was flat like a mat. In the year AD 1519, Maglin, a Portuguese sailor, started from Spain with a ship on a world tour. The ships traveled for three years in the same direction. At last in 1522 AD, one of his ships reached Spain again. Traveling in one direction, it became possible for Maglin's ship to reach the starting point again, only because the earth is round. The earth's surface is curved. Even though the earth is round like a ball, its surface appears to be flat. Teacher, how does earth revolve? Revolution of earth is an interesting fact. Let me tell you about it now. The revolution of the earth. Every object on the earth needs some support to rest. The earth should also rest upon some object or other. The earth pulls towards itself every object around it. So, all the balls fall on the earth. We say that earth attracts all the objects near it. Attraction among objects Not only the earth, but all objects attract one another. The earth is bigger than every object near it. So, all the objects fall on it due to its attraction. If the earth did not attract them, all the objects simply float around. They will have no weight at all. Weight means the attraction of the earth. The earth is attracted by the sun. The sun gives us heat and light and the stars that appear to us during the night, all of them pull the earth towards them. The stars are very, very far away. But the sun, which is nearer, pulls the earth towards it strongly. The earth has to fall on the sun. The sun is a burning ball of fire. Revolution of the earth If the earth were not moving, it would go and fall on the sun. So, the earth never stops still. It revolves around the sun at a distance of very high speed. It never goes near the sun. The movement of the earth around the sun is called the revolution of the earth. Rotation of the earth Every day morning, we see the red, round ball like sun in the east. Then we say the sun has risen. 
day has begun. The sun slowly climbs the sky. It descends to the west by evening and disappears. We say it's night. The sun rises again and the day begins. A night and a day form one day. Rotation of the earth The earth not only revolves around the sun but it also turns around itself like a spinning top. The movement of the earth around itself is called rotation of the earth. Day and night As it turns round and round the earth brings us face to face with the sun and then away from it into dark and again into the light. Duration of the day It takes 24 hours for the earth to turn around itself once. This is what we call a day. Half of it is daytime and half is the night time. Duration of the year It takes one year for the earth to run around the sun once. During this period, the earth turns around itself 365 times. That is why there are 365 days and 365 nights in a year. Direction of Rotation The earth turns around itself from the west to the east. That is why it appears in the east first, slowly climbs up in the sky, crawls to the west and appears to set in the west. Children, now tell me where do we get light from during the daytime? We get light from the sun. It gives us heat and light. The sun The sun gives us heat and light. The sun becomes brighter as it ascends the sky. When it is noon, it is straight above our heads. The shadows cast by it are so short at noon that your shadow is under your own feet. The sun slowly descends the sky and finally sets in the west in the evening. At sunset, it appears red in color again except in the early morning and late in the evening before sunset you cannot look at the sun it is very hot and dazzling the sun is huge ball of fire such bodies which emit heat and shine by their own light are called stars the sun is our nearest star Rotation of the sun Sometimes the moon comes between us and the sun. Then we can see the sun through glass plates coated with smoke. If we look at the sun through them, we will find flames and burning gases on it. There are dark patches also on the sun. Their position also changes if we observe them constantly. From these observations, people have come to know that the sun also rotates around itself. If it does not rotate, the sun will also fall upon some other bigger sphere. It takes 25 days for the sun to rotate around itself once. The sun is a star. Stars are also burning spheres in the sky, similar to the sun. Many of the stars are bigger than the sun, but they are very, very far away. Their heat does not reach us. As the sun is our nearest star, it is able to give us so much of heat and light. The stars are not fixed. They also rotate about themselves. Planets The sun attracts the earth and makes it go round it. Similarly, some more spheres 
are attracted by the sun. They do not give heat and light. They are called planets. Any spheres which goes round and a star regularly is called a planet. The earth is a planet. It is a planet of the sun. Other stars too may have planets of their own. There are nine planets that go round the sun including the earth. They are called the Navgrahas. Satellite There are spheres that go round the planets too. While the earth goes round the sun, the moon goes round the earth. Such spheres which revolves around a planet are called satellites. If the earth is a planet of the sun, the moon is a satellite of the earth. The solar system The sun's family The sun, its planets and the satellites of the planets move along in their fixed path regularly. The path of each sphere is called its orbit. As all the spheres travel in their own orbits without striking into one another and move along with the sun in the middle. People call the sun its planet and their satellites together the solar family or the solar system. The nine planets. The Navgrahas or nine planets revolve round the sun in their own orbits at different distances from it. The planets nearest to the earth is named Mercury. The next is Venus. The third is our earth. The fourth is Mars. The fifth is Jupiter. The sixth Saturn. The seventh Uranus. The eighth Neptune. And the last one, Pluto. The fifth planet, Jupiter, is the biggest of the sun's planet and Mercury is the smallest. Mercury is also closest to the sun. Jupiter has four satellites. Saturn has beautiful rings around it. Out of Saturn's nine satellites, one named Titan is as big as the planet Mercury. The Moon Moon, the satellite of the Earth, is at a distance of 400,000 kilometers from the Earth and revolves around it. It takes 29 and a half days for the Moon to rotate around itself once. It takes the same time to revolve around the earth once. That is why only one side of the moon appears to us. The other side never appears. We count the period of one revolution of the moon as one month of ours. The moon, like the earth and the other planets, has no light of its own. It reflects the light of the sun. The moon is one-fiftieth the size of the earth. The attraction is less on it. If you weigh 30 kgs on the earth, you would weigh only 5 kg on the moon. It means all objects weigh on the moon one-sixth of their weight on the earth. Teacher, can you explain us about the stars and the various constellations? In our galaxy. Oh sure, I'll explain about it in this session. Stars and constellations. People of all countries have been observing the stars for thousands of years. Some of the stars appear to be moving in groups. They recognize shapes to them. That way it was easy to recognize them among the millions of stars in the sky. One such group was called the Great Bear by people of one country. The same was called the Dipper by others. And 
a horse with helter by some others. Indians called it the Saptarishi Mandala, the group of seven sages. Seven stars appear prominently in this group. Such group of stars are called constellations. Constellations do not stay at one place but move about in groups. They also appear to move from east to west like the sun and the moon. The pole star The straight line along the two outer stars of trapezium in the great bear that reaches a twinkling star in the north is called the pole star. Orion There is another constellation which can be easily identified on account of the brightness of its stars. It is called Orion, the hunter. Two bright stars form the two shoulders of the hunter. Three stars form his belt and three or four stars in a slanting position make up the dragger hanging from the belt. Galaxies In addition to the constellations identified by man, many more masses of stars appear in the sky. They appear like very wide flat disks. These disks revolve at great speed. The stars in these disks appear to be close to one another and also like flowing milk. So, they are called rivers of milk galaxies. There are lakhs of such galaxies in the sky. The Milky Way When the sky is clear in the night, we find a mass of stars like a path across the sky. It spans the sky from northeast to the southwest. It is called the Milky Way. Our solar system is present in this Milky Way with so many stars is a very minute part of a galaxy. Millions of similar galaxies are present at great distances from one another. The Universe The Earth on which about 350 crores of people live is only a planet going round a star called the Sun at distance of about 15 crores kilometer. The Sun is one star among the mass of crows of stars in a galaxy. Scientists say that there are millions of galaxies. All these countless galaxies together form the universe.